Hey there, hey, it's Aaliyah Janae and welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing something a little different, okay? Today I'm going to be doing my makeup and chatting with you guys um, specifically about comparison. Yes. Um, so maybe you want to do your makeup too maybe you want to listen to this while you're getting ready for the day um this is not just for for the ladies you know gentlemen if you guys want to just listen to this uh you can go ahead and do that um but yeah let's talk about it let's talk about comparison because it truly is the thief of all joy <laughs> Let's get into it. So to begin with, I'm just gonna, you know, um, put a base on my eyes. I am not a makeup guru, beauty guru, or any of those things. I just like doing my makeup and some people might think I do it wrong. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I just, I do what I do. Um, but I'm starting by putting a base of um, concealer on my eyelids. I already have a primer on my eyelids, um, a clear one, but I don't have concealer. And I like putting concealer on because it um, helps the shadows to show a little bit more vibrantly. But I wanted to talk about comparison um, and the reason why I even thought to talk about it, especially um, while doing my makeup, is because typically when people think about comparison, um, they think about like low self-esteem and comparing um, you know looks right so like the world has a lot of beauty standards that are seemingly unattainable and you know you compare yourself to other people my eyes aren't shaped like so-and-so's eyes my hair is not as long as so-and-so's hair my body is not shaped like so-and-so's body and um all of that good stuff and um for me personally i don't really struggle with comparing looks um that's not really my issue i'm not saying that that's never been my issue and i mean everybody has their little things it's like oh i wish you know this was a little bigger or smaller or whatever um but overall i don't typically um compare too much when it comes to looks um and like when i do my makeup i do it because i like doing makeup not because i feel like i need the makeup um but i just it's fun to do it's relaxing honestly um for those who actually like are trying to get instructions i just used um a bh cosmetics number five little fluffy brush and just buffed in this um like sienna color just as a blending shade um but anyway back to what i was saying I don't really compare looks, um, but what I do do <laughs> often is compare talents, gifts, callings, and the such. <laughs> um, and because I do that, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that is the main reason I stopped recording YouTube videos. Um, 
I initially stopped recording because I was grieving um, the loss of my cousin, uh, which really, really shook me up and um, in ways unimaginable. Like I didn't even think that I would be shaken up as much as I was because um, I've lost people in the past um, and I've never really struggled with loss. Um, I've never really mourned, never really grieved, not really something I've dealt with. And I've lost people that I, you know, were seemingly pretty close to me. It's not like, you know, these people were super distant or anything. And I've lost people tragically as well. But I typically have been able to get over it. Um, or not get over it, but get through it pretty quickly. But losing my cousin proved to be different. Um, and that it wasn't as easy to move forward. But um, after that break, really kind of before that break, um, and then it just kind of magnified after, I was really comparing myself to other people, um, especially with YouTube, right? You compare and contrast and you say, oh, well, this person has this many views or this many subscribers, this many likes, this many comments. And you compare and you say, oh, well, I don't have that. I don't have that uh, number of subscribers. I don't have that number of viewers. And that's like the natural comparison. This is the normal comparison. Um, and I kind of anticipated that ahead of time. Um, and it didn't really bother me too much. Um, it didn't get to me too badly. I kind of was just like, oh yeah, you know, people are going to grow at different speeds, at different rates. And that's just a part of life. Right? Um, but, but then, um, there were different people that started YouTube channels at the same time as me that, or after me or around the same time that, um, I felt were growing faster than me. And I just was like, what is happening? You know, what am I doing wrong? All the questions, you know, what do I need to change? What do I need to fix? What do I need to do? All that good stuff. And I was getting like frustrated or, or whatever. But after my cousin died, I realized that like there were a lot of um, people close to me, like friends, family members um, that were supporting these other people that I knew that started YouTube channels, but they weren't watching my videos. They weren't um, subscribed to my channel. And it was like, we're like literally blood and you're subscribed to this person. You're watching this person's videos. Like, so that means you're on YouTube. It's not like you're just not doing it. <laughs> like you're not on YouTube. It's not like you're not watching videos. You're watching videos. You're just not watching mine. And um, with the saying of like, comparison is a thief of joy, where YouTube at one point was very joyous for me. I was excited to record. I was excited to edit. I was excited to upload. I had joy behind it. When I started comparing to these other people, that joy completely dissipated. And it became like, tedious to record, tedious to edit, tedious to upload, like, and there was no joy in it. And it literally got to a point where like, I had recorded videos that I just didn't even upload because it was just like, what's the point? Like, I just, I just, I wasn't excited about it anymore. I wasn't like super thrilled anymore. So yeah, 
so at some point um I realized that um or I had to come to the realization that one everybody's not going to support you and that's just life that's life um even Jesus said a man has no honor in his own country like that literally speaks to the fact that when he was in his own country when he was in his land people were like what's up like they he was just a regular dude he was not the one performing miracles he was not the one healing he was not the one saving it was just like oh yeah that's Jesus that's Jesus from the block I know him that's little Mary's son, you know, he was just a regular guy. But as soon as he left, people flocked f toward him. People surrounded him. People wanted to see him. People praised him and were, were mesmerized by him. And it's because like the people who know you, they're just like, oh yeah, that's, that's little Pookie and them. That's little, you know, whatever. Like they, they don't really <laughs> see you the same way. Right. And then people have the backstory. People know where I've been, what I've done, all that stuff, like the people who are around me. And so for, for them to see me now is very difficult because they're seeing, oh, Aaliyah five years ago, Aaliyah 10 years ago, that little bad little kid who, whatever. <laughs> and so they're not going to support the same way that other people support. And I had to just really come to terms with that and really um, accept that that is the case and that it's okay. And it doesn't mean that I'm not good enough. It doesn't mean that I'm, um, you know, any less than those other ones who are doing. Like everyone has a platform. Every There is room for every single person. And at the end of the day, you know, Galatians chapter one, verse 10, it talks about that. It is like, it, it asks for, um, for am I seeking the approval of man or of God? And it, it talks about like, or, you know, am I trying to please man? And if I were trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Because, you know, like if you are, if you are following Christ, then nothing else matters. The people's opinions don't matter on all that stuff. If you're following man, then you're going to do things to appease man. You're going to do things to, you know, be trendy or to, you know, uh, get the support and you're not going to be really truly following after Christ. And I had to like take a step back and think like, okay, Leah, let's pause. Let's reevaluate. Are you doing this thing for approval or are you doing it for the glory of God because if it's for the glory of God then everything will happen in its in its right timing like you don't have to worry about who's supporting you who's not supporting you it's all about him period and that means that if I reach two people 20 people 2,000 people 2 million people it doesn't matter if I am not um, honoring God, glorifying God and, and, and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? So, um, I really had to step back and, uh, evaluate that and really just consider, um, all of that. Um, because at the end of the day, First of all, this life is temporary and I have a God to answer to and I want him to be pleased with what I have done on this earth and I want him to tell me, um, you know, well done, my good and faithful servant. I want to hear those words and I don't want him to question you know, well, why did you stop spreading the gospel when I gave you a task? Because I can't turn to him and say, oh, well, I stopped because my cousin or my aunt or my mom or my dad weren't supporting me. And I'm not saying these people don't support me. I'm just 
using that <laughs> as an example. Um, I still have a work to do regardless of whoever um, supports me, watches my videos, whatever. And it kind of reminded me of um, the story of the servants with the talents. And I was actually talking to Alan about this and realizing that I, um, for whether it's out of fear or out of um, self-preservation, have buried a lot of things. And in the literal sense of like talents is talking about money. Um, and so literally in the literal sense of burying money for the sake of, you know, trying to store up treasure or whatever and not, um, not investing it, not building it, not growing it, stuff like that. But also in the, in the, um, theoretical sense of I have stored up my talent, my gift. I've buried my talents, my gifts, my, you know, gifts and callings and all of that for sake of like, oh, well, I don't want to ruffle any feathers or I don't want to uh, get hurt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to get hurt. And um, it's a tough, it's a tough realization when you um, come to terms with the fact that you have given up on the things that God told you to do just because of people's opinions. And not even just the things that God told you to do, like the things that you enjoy doing, like things that I literally used to find so much enjoyment in. I just stopped because... Oh, well, I, I, I always try to play it off as like, you know, oh, well, I'm just going to let them have it. I'll let this person have it. Oh, this person wants to do the same thing I'm doing. I'll, I'll step back. You know, I, I want to see them succeed. And do I still want to see them succeed? Absolutely. Like, I want all of us to win at the end of the day. Like, I want everybody to win. However, I wasn't supposed to give up <laughs> just because someone else is doing it you know like I think about the Facebook post that was like trending a few years ago about bread like somebody took a picture of bread and like all the different bread companies and was like basically explaining that you still have a place at the end of the day there's 50 million brands of bread and I might not buy the same brand that you buy, but it's still bread. Like, it's like, like, they're still making money off of selling the exact same product as somebody else. But because of their marketing or because of their logo or because of, you know, a slight change in the recipe, they're going to get more or less or the same amount of recognition as the next person. I'm going to put my lashes on and we'll reconvene. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, so I just went ahead and completed my look for today. But I wanted to wrap everything up, you know. I said a lot. I rambled a little bit. But overall, um, I just wanted to feel like... Compares, comparing yourself to someone else really, one, isn't worth it, and two, it creates extra stress, you know, extra drama, extra whatever. Um, and at the end of the day, if God is not pleased with what you're doing, then it'll show itself. And if God is pleased with what you're doing, it will show itself. You know, like, it's just, there's room for everyone. Um, 
I mean, the Lord will make room for you. It's literally in the Bible. Um, and for me, that just means, you know, I just have to stop comparing and contrasting to other people who are on YouTube or other people who do spoken word or other people who sing or other people who whatever it is that I do, I need to stop comparing myself to everyone else because at the end of the day, there's room for me too. There are a lot of people who do the same thing. There are a million celebrities. Like, I don't even know how many celebrities there are, but there's a whole lot of them. There's a whole lot of actors. There's a whole lot of actresses. There's a whole lot of singers. And I don't even know all of their names. I don't even know all of all of them who exist because there's, you know, singers in other countries, actors in other countries, actresses in other countries that I don't even know about. But they still have a platform and they still get paid and they still, you know, present, do their talent, whatever it is. So why am I worried? I just want to make the Lord proud at the end of the day. I want to make Jesus proud of me. However that looks, whatever that looks like. Um, sorry, Pickles was eating something. <laughs> um, but however that looks, whatever that looks like, I want to make him proud of me. And... Um, Ugh. And so, you know, I can't continue to compare to my peers, to anybody else. It's crazy because I was telling Alan, like, it's wild how I can encourage him in his photography like crazy and I could be like I could be his biggest fan his biggest supporter and I can pump him up all day long but it's like when he tells me I'm doing good I'd be like or when he tells me that I'm good at what I do I'm like why is it that way why are we like this because I know I'm not the only one he does the same thing <laughs> But, all that said, I'm going to get back to recording regularly. I'm going to get back to posting regularly. Because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I don't have time to be comparing. Um, I just don't. I just don't. I have a work to do. Period. <laughs> period anyway that does it for this video um if you watched all the way through uh go ahead and put a code word down in the comments and that code word is going to be uh winning yeah put down winning and i will know that you watched the whole video this is your reminder to subscribe if you have not subscribed if you have not hit that like button, go ahead and do that. Okay? Okay. I love you. Pickles clearly loves you a little bit. And Jesus loves you so much more. And remember, you will never overcome that which is hidden. And you will not conquer what you refuse to confront. Let's break some chains, y'all. Yay! We did it, we did it, we did it, yay, yay.